How did I get? How did I? How did I get here? How did I get here? How did I? How did we ride on a bike with an unconscious person? Like how the? F we just skipped right over that. What? How did I do that? How the fuck did I do that? Hey. Where am I? What is this place? It seems like I should have called Takamura here. Like, all they had to do was move the conversation of me calling Takamura to once we arrived here. And then he'd be like, stay put where you are. And it would make sense. Instead, he said, stay put where you are. And then we left. <laughs> like, what? We also didn't say where we were. So where does he know where to, how, he knows where to go? Motel, middle of nowhere. Any specific middle? Doesn't matter. You're not leaving here by yourself anyway. Why are we here? Want to talk about your little invention. Biochip you made for Arisaka. Fine. But let's get one thing straight first. Yorinobu Arisaka didn't send you? No. This means you must have an offer for me. If your boss will pay more than Kang Tao, I believe we can talk. Nobody sent me. I got a problem, and you're gonna help me. And what does that have to do with the biochip? Got Silverhand's construct in my head. It's literally driving me crazy, and I know it's only gonna get worse. That is, unless I remove it. And that, none of that's on the billboards I saw. Not even in the fine print. Constructed, that's impossible. Where did you get this biochip? Clept it off Yorinobu Arasaka. Job for a client. But the client left me out. And to you decided the best place for it was in your own goddamn head. Actually, wasn't a bad idea. Construct rebooted me when my own goddamn head took a bullet. I always knew Yorinobu's plan would fail. I just never imagined it would turn out like this. Arasaka's prized tech really is in the very streets of the city. You have to remove the biochip from my system. It's not that simple. Look, you made the thing, didn't you? So where's the problem? If you're telling the truth, you slotted in a new experimental version of the biochip. I know you can't just yank it out. My ripper you said- You showed that to some fucking street doctor? Who else knows? I needed help. Or did you think the first thing that came to mind was down in a Kang Tao AV? How's the prototype version different? It's got a different engram, something more... Aware. Aggressive? The biochip is what's unique, not Silverhand's engram. The previous version of the chip was only used to communicate with pre-saved engrams. And it was rare as fuck and cost a fortune. Yeah. This one's rarer. Meant to install and activate the engram in a new body. When I left Arisaka, the project was still in the trial phase. How do you put a price on immortality? Who could even afford tech like this? Nobody. This model was meant to remain in-house. The prototype was Saburo Arasaka's personal commission. He oversaw the entire project himself. So if it weren't for Yorinobu, nobody would have found out. And if not for you, the project would not have been a success. This is a true breakthrough. This has obviously been dangling over the entire game so far as a question, but like... If you were going to use, if you're going to make this incredibly expensive super product crazy thing and then make it so that you can put it, this chip in a new body from, and it would like essentially take over that body from scratch and become this immortal being, why of all things would you use the engram of Johnny Silverhand, the person who nuked your company? Did you want to torture him? Is that is this a revenge thing too? Because everyone's motivated by revenge in this game, apparently. Because like otherwise, you'd think that you could just get like really anyone else that'd be less of a threat. Like if someone already activated a, nu a nuclear device at your corporation, you would think the last thing you'd want to do is bring him back to life for really any reason. Like what a horrible plan. And like don't fucking pretend it's like. 
well, he's the only one they killed with the with Soul Killer or whatever it was called. They didn't have any more. It's like, really? Really? In this nightmare dystopia cyberpunk setting that can't get anyone off the street and kill them and rip their quote-unquote soul out and put their ghost in the shell instead of Johnny Silverhands, I doubt they're so respectful. How exactly was this new version supposed to work? Were you planning to have the engram kick people out of their own bodies? Is that shit by design? During the tests, we assumed that the body would be neurally indifferent during implantation. You mean dead? Yes, which makes what happened to you interesting indeed. Yeah, yeah, great. Your tech works. Now get it out of me. Well, well. I would have to see it first. Whoa, we just met. Haven't built up that sort of trust yet. How did you think this was going to go? If you want me to help you, I must examine you. That's what I was wondering about his plan, too, is like he... His plan is to just have this guy go look at the chip. The chip that, if it's removed, will kill him instantly. Like, this guy has a really easy out. We're completely unsupervised and alone. Takamura's not even here yet. And we're gonna let him look at the chip? Like, he can... He could just kill me. And then his problem's gone. <laughs> Okay. Hmm. Unbelievable. It looks like... Can't believe this suit's the one who's gonna help us. What? What is it? What a pity I won't be able to examine it fully. Yeah, real shame. You could have been his guinea pig too. Tell me how to get rid of it. I'm afraid I have bad news. Your neural network has completely deteriorated. It can no longer function independently of the chip. The only thing I could Woo do... Woohoo! It's bargaining time! ...is to give you information on a good clinic in Sweden. They'll help you through the terminal stages. Minimize the pain. Wait, you said the project was in the trial phase. You don't actually know how it'll end. Oh, I do. I just saw the construct devouring your brain. It's programmed to take over its new environment. At all costs. And your little meat brain is helpless against this. And no matter what, sooner or later the engram wins. Yes. And from what I've heard about Silverhand, that seems to be exactly his style. Huh. I see my reputation's grown into Arasaka legend. What exactly is going on in my head? You tell me, what's it like to have two personalities? Because it's not like you're hearing voices. You are both yourself and Silverhand, simultaneously. I can see him and talk to him. You're not talking, but yes, I understand what you mean. Have you noticed the Construct's influence on your decision-making? Sheesh, give it a rest. When it comes to my decisions, Johnny really is just a voice in my head. Maybe he has a different opinion. But he can't make me do anything. Agreed 100%. You are one fucking stubborn It's not host. as if one of you wins the debate. The scale simply shifts. Slowly but surely. What do you mean? You will start doing things that were once unthinkable, at least to your old self. And you know exactly who he was. A fanatic. A terrorist. A suicide bomber. Well, fuck me. Who's trying to mess with your head now? That is why I believe it would be better for you to consider clinical isolation at this stage. At least Johnny never whored himself out like you. Are you defending him? Or is that Johnny speaking now? Oh, let me guess. He already tried to take over your body. You know, just for a little while. No. Would you, though? Could be fun. Johnny... Kidding. But watch out. Suit's getting ready to talk your head off. Know what? That's enough. You just playing for time? Because I can't tell. Are you trying to convince me you're useless? 
weapons. I mean, in that case, I can just shoot you in the head and save us both some time. Ah, uh, finally. I will try to help you, if you come with me to Kang Tao. I'll try, just isn't gonna cut it. Actually, it's almost like you're trying to buy your way in with the Chinese, at my expense. Do you even realize how much data is in your head? Even if I can't help you, the data must be saved. Well, fuck me sideways. Forget Kang what Tao. Got any other ideas? If you think there's anyone else who can help you, I could give you the blueprints. Complete project documentation. Kang Tao offered quite the sum for it. You got it with you? He's got to. Gonk's fucking useless without him. The... Takamura? What the hell is he doing here? He's got a few questions of his own for you. You play nice, he might even save your ass. I'm almost done. The blueprints. Better than nothing. Long as we find someone fluent in techno babble. What'll you do with him? I haven't decided yet. Are you serious? You know me. I can be impulsive. He's all yours. I'll give you two some space. I hope we can come to an understanding. That is certainly in your best interest. V, I will remember this. Ugh, this heat. My throat is positively parched. Mm. V did not give you even a glass of water. Unacceptable. Inhumane. That is not me. You will see the difference. I will give you full buckets. No, uh, no need. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's talking about waterboarding. Which is just like a cute aside in this game, but not a horrifying thing, apparently. Saw that in the distance. I'm like, where is it? What the Fuck? Sit down, goddammit! Of course it's the biochip, what are you fucking stupid? No, it's you, you asshole! Killing me, little by little, every damn day! Little by little is not my style. It's the chip. It's our Saka. Fuck! That was your ticker. Sit and rest. Don't need your flat money while we got a job to do. Blah, blah, blah. Fuck Arasaka, blah, blah, smash Mikoshi. You really are turning into me. Uh, might be right. We're bickering like a couple of geezers on a park bench. It's time we let up. Let a little trust take hold. Hey, that one lady that's always throwing up is here again. Every Let's cell get out of here. My bean dislikes you. How can I trust you? Do I gotta remind you how this came about? Let's not get wound up. You're not yourself. Honestly can't fathom how you got so many people to bend over backwards for you. Don't. Come on. <laughs> Don't know what's happening to me. The old V's gonna be a faded memory soon. <sighs> got no idea where I'm going. Be a living legend. That's all I wanted. Feels like I'm barely surviving. Test of a person's true value? Death. Facing it. Staring it down. You still got a chance to be somebody. Watching someone throw up this whole time is surreal. Yeah. 
Maybe. What was it like when you died? What's on top of the world? Failure, not an option, not a thought. Till it happened. Death feels real now. It's only now I know it. Now? <laughs> Had half a century to come to terms. Makoshi felt, I don't know, like sleep? Lacked awareness, had no sense of passing time. Didn't mark it, did what they wanted to me. I just remember, cold, black void, fear. Or, or was that your death? Koshi. Why did Arasaka even build it? If I could only see inside Saburo's head. Uh huh. People can be bought, brainwashed, but it's only in Makoshi that you can peer inside a soul, pick it apart, reprogram it. They've amassed quite a collection. Scary talented runners, soul killed, packed away, probably using them now, probably controlling them. So, ruling hearts and minds, that's what it's about. The usual. Corps have always tried to shackle people one way or another. Saburo's ambition is greater. He's out to control humanity. Well, I think I get why you detest the place. Shouldn't exist. Of all the destruction and pain corpse wreak around the world, what happens at Makoshi is worst. Know why? They strip you of your right to die. No different than being kept alive on a respirator. That ain't the worst bit. Worse things when they switch up your identity, and you never even know you've become someone else. Corps have already taken the world for their own. Now they're coming for us. Realize what you're doing to me is what our sock is doing at Makoshi. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm gonna fix it. Let's move. Get back to work. Let's do. Ah, shit! Seems like standing up was a mistake. I guess you and me both, huh? With the whole standing up being a mistake. <laughs> Got a few points to spend. Might as well max out that weapon damage. And a chance for a free upgrade. What even was engineering again? Loot modifications. Tech weapons and grenades. Fully charged tech weapons not shooting automatically would definitely be nice. Tech weapons ignore armor. I guess crit chances would be nice. Straight up 25% increased damage for stuff like my current machine gun. 
That would certainly come in handy. Oh. And just like that, we're done with her entire storyline? Well, no. It'll be a follow-up, right? There was an opening part where Judy's storyline was the was the main story, and then follow-up that was side story. So we just kind of have to like wait for some time to pass by, I think. Let's check in on some of these other things that are going on around here. I picked up a, f picked up a few things along the way. That is very far away. That is significantly closer. Yep. Haven't been in the open world for a bit, have we? Hey, buddy. And back, oh god, I was dressed like this the whole time. There was a few instances where I feel like dialogue was just playing at the wrong time. I guess it said Johnny was like supposed to be like, oh, the next one's gonna, ah, Johnny. Like, it's like, oh, that's, that part's supposed to be playing when I'm actually doing the overloads, right? Not in the car. But then they made the scene play in the car and then didn't change the dialogue, it seems, so that it, so it didn't fit. And the weird thing with Takamuro in the same, during the same mission where I, uh, I had called Takamura and he said to stay put, and it's like, why didn't we just have that call in the motel, where it would make sense? <laughs> well, there's a time for me to call, because I, I didn't really have him yet. And because other stuff. Ah, hello. I have a job. The urgent kind. Someone is yanking my friend's drones out of the sky. Check out the coordinates. Find out who is responsible. The details are attached. A little dark here. Ugh. Gotta get in, find the deets, not get caught. Should be reasonably easy. Fine, didn't cut me. <laughs> the high jump is just the best thing in the entire video game. Just the whole thing. Hello there. Enough of your bullshit. And nothing to be shy about. Fuck that up a bit, but we're good. I can see through walls, which is bad news for you. What are you five? Get out here! What are you five? I mean, I'm murdering a bunch of people. If this is regular behavior for five-year-olds, I would be a little concerned. Kind of fuckable meat. Broadcasts. You know, blasting hardcore punk on badge frequencies and whatnot. Hmm. So this must be how Raff and Shiv hacked those drones. Was beginning to think you'd never figure it out. Nope. I can just do it with my tech power. Ten, right there. You've no idea who 
You're right, I don't know. But I did, because it's... You're so unthreatening, I didn't bother to learn who you are. Something's wrong. Help, help. Okay, we're good. Guess we gotta take the long way back down. Until I gain some proper, like, immunity to fall damage or something. Shit. Shit. Not my... Not my proudest! Ow! Stop shooting me. Oh! <laughs> there is such a gap between stuff that can't hurt me and stuff that one shots me what the fuck hit me <laughs> i'm pretty sure i went from uh, like 90 percent to zero just in that one fiery explosion it's rude from over there in one f fell fucking whatever oh no what happened to him somebody should f save him ah uh, shit Seventeen thousand damage that seems a little extreme holy crap What? I was pressing F. Why did you pick it up? What? I'm not currently using it? It's only a matter of time. Is this just how heavy guns work in this game? Hey, buddy. It's, it's my super gun. I've never seen- I've never used one of these before. This came out of nowhere for me. But okay. I can't- I can actually- it's actually a little hard to tell where I'm aiming. There you go. Is that another super gun? I guess so. Would he not know where the fight's happening right now? Was it not loud enough yet? There you go. I went through all that effort of being quiet <laughs> and getting in and out the clever way. But then I went and got a ridiculous gun, so now I want to use it. <laughs> Huh, that's annoying. So you have a reticle normally, right click gets rid of your reticle while not actually making it any easier to aim, it barely zooms at all. So right click is kind of like, the does the opposite of what its job's supposed to be. Which is just weird. Whoa, something exploded! I don't wonder when he's gonna blow up. Hey, buddy. Hey, last one, last guy. Headshot. I'm probably not gonna win at this range. Oh, look at me, I'm getting him. 
I'm getting him. Oh, I didn't make it. Oh well. It's enough of you. Nice work on that antenna. The tricky part of having a head is knowing how to use it, but not for you, B. Mosquito's roots are safe and secure again. The contract is closed, and closed well. Alright, there was some silly fucking around during that, but that's... Isn't that what we're here for? Isn't that what we're here for? Exactly. Reduced component costs. Anything that makes stuff cheaper is a good is a good go. So we gotta grind those upgrades. Grind, grind, grind. Speaking of which. Any better pistols yet? Not per shot. Anything better than this rifle yet? This precision rifle, but nothing else. Anything better than any sniper rifles that are better yet? Because that's that seems like something I'd be able to get. There's one. Nope. I don't want a charged rifle because that makes my that makes my aiming shitty. There we go. A grad that is only two DPS stronger, which is a little disappointing, but it'll give me cheaper upgrades. That's good. I used to use shotguns, but the fuck this fucking divided we stand gun is just permanently better than them, it seems. To like craft something really good, I guess. The 295 DPS. Is that even better? Yep. As I level up, my crafting levels up. Make it stronger. You guys still can't beat my bonus crit damage, so I'm not going to be using you. This is a... A chest. There's a chest piece upgrade. It looks like it's a full suit. That's weird. Looks like it would go in this slot, but it doesn't. Plus 15% crit chance might be worth the change in stats. A significant percentage. Well, I don't, I don't have the components for upgrading anything. My blues got completely wiped up by buying that upgrade. I guess we can just keep going further out here, huh? To some extent, I think we've, like, gone out beyond what we thought were the boundaries of the world. And just kind of kept stretching further out. Now I can just go way the hell out here. Yippee. I'm fine. I'm fine. There we go. Maybe we can figure out how the death thing works. Someone suspected that maybe the other guy died because a robot blew up near him? So maybe it was just a weird accident thing. 
Oh, more robots to blow up near him. Why can't I open this door? Peter Green. That, why did I just make money? Natasha Green. Maybe I just looted it, looted it a second ago and it just looked like scanning gave me money. I don't think scanning gives you money. Is this open? Listen up, sheeple! Dude, look at this guy's movements. One second, buddy. This is some grade A combat I've got here. Look at this combat. Some A-plus combat. You die already? There we go. Okay, so he's still alive this time. But I think he did die to a... Ah! No, don't shoot, don't shoot him. Don't shoot him. Come over here. I think that person was right that the, ro the exploding robots killed him last time. And if that's the case, then the people that were saying I have some kind of mod that makes people not die in my eyes are wrong. Because I've checked my mods up close, and there's no mention of it at all. Unless all mods make people non-lethal, in which case there's no such thing as a lethal playstyle unless you actively execute every person you encounter. But no, people survive my attacks all the time in this game. It's only Cyber Psychos, so I am right. Cyber Psychos just magically don't die when you shoot them. They only, they only die in weird, weird other situations, like how that guy probably got hit by an explosion before. Is he dead now? Why is he dead? He was fine. Did he get hit by the fucking drones? I think that's it. Guy is dead. Must have had an interesting past to be that paranoid about security. Tried to make his own version of ice, but got one hell of a hot shot circ instead. The family ran outside to see what was going on. The security system tripped and well. Guy went crazy after. Sad stuff. Best put on some walking shoes, because getting to this house is a bit of a climb. Can't spy much on the bottom, but folks say there was a heavy shootout, so I'm guessing this wasn't no family quarrel. Dust has settled by now, but I'd still watch my step if I were you. Wait, that's... That's the old one. Poor Gonk was so afraid someone would zero him that he turned his house into a death trap. Too bad his family happened to walk into it. Wasn't much hope left for the guy anyway, but it's a shame the family had to go like that. Let's load my save, let's see. When, when was my last save? Can I get- can I get him out alive? He seemed to still be alive a second ago, maybe I just need to run away faster. I think the- the security might have gone bad there.
Why is my objective find the Cyper Psycho? I already got him. That was it. I win. God damn it. Legendary. You dropped it last time. He's alive this time. Do I have to scan him? This time it says read the shard located on the dead woman. It didn't say last time. When I looted her, I looked for a prompt to read the shard, but it never came up so I could read it. Let's see if I can find it. The request section. I knew this would happen. They did this. They finally got us. While I was testing my Netrunner chair, one split second of distraction was all it took. Must have dialed it up too far, short circuited the grid, coils blew. When the wife came to see what happened, all hell broke loose. I knew one day this would happen. I did all I could to protect them, but they were so care they were they were all so careless. See what happens when you don't listen? You get ripped to shreds. I thought I'd prepare myself for the worst case scenario, but nothing can compare can prepare you for this kind of carnage. And just when and just when we were, were a hair's breadth away from being 100% safe, that ice was supposed to protect us from the backdoor net attacks. The last place they'd get us. If only they'd stayed inside. I could still protect them. What fucking good is all this security now? I don't, I don't give a shit. They can come for me. I'll put up a hell of a fight. Take those hive mind fuckers with me. They'll regret they ever messed with Sam Milton. Come at me, motherfuckers. I'm right here. Why is there only sometimes an objective to read this, but other times there isn't? Like, what's up with this game's- this- this, like, quest scripting? Don't come. Don't come here, there's no point. Sam's completely lost it. It's not safe here. I'm trying to be understanding. I know he- I know what he's went through. I even scolded our son for being selfish and trying to escape. Now I know he was right. Getting out is the only way. I can't even talk to Sam like a normal person anymore. Last week he laid mines and forgot to tell me about them. One step in the wrong direction and that would have been the end for me. This house is starting to look like a prison. Still, at least in prison you know what to expect. But here? Regina? There it is. Got our guy and knocked him out. See what? It's not- so it's not- it isn't me. If I shoot him, he just always survives, but he magically gets killed by... I guess just random nonsense happening in the environment. Which is scary? Because this game has like... Bouncing bullets and other nonsense, so you can like have... You can be perfectly good about getting him to survive, but then have like RNG kill him basically. So you just have to save before I request. Got our guy. Knocked him out. Must have had a rough past, because I've never seen anyone more paranoid about security. Tried coating his own eyes, but all he did was cause a power outage. Yeah, that's what we saw before. Gonna be hard to set him straight again. Good thing you got to him first, before he could off himself. Yeah, so I'm, I'm back to version one of this narrative, which is the fact that, uh, yes. People do just totally survive magically. There's this whole dilemma. Job complete. Was that it? Was it the last Cyber Psycho? I wonder. Psycho killer. I still have seven more to go. Holy shit. Alright, we'll find them as we go, I guess. Guess que say. Fa 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 better. Run 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 away. Oh 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 oh. My husband and I, we need a somewhat delicate matter handled. We think you could help. 
Delicate, yes. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mind my asking who your husband is? Actually, who are you? I'd rather not discuss details over the phone. Please meet with us. We'll explain everything. As I said, it's a rather delicate matter. Why call me of all people? Any particular reason? You came recommended. Yeah, who by? I'd rather not say. Not over the phone. Is there any way we could meet? Discuss some details? Sure, let's do that. I'll send you the address. See you. I'm so popular. Everyone wants to talk to me all the time. I fought the law and the law one. I fought the law and the. <laughs> hey, I'm B, fine. A truck hauling cyberware crashed in the Badlands. It's top grade chrome, but Found the NCPD is not in much of a hurry. Tells me they suspect the cyber psycho's the cause, and it's got them spooked. Check it out, but no killing if you can. Yep, I'm more than checking it out. Uh, it's a cyber psycho again. Amelia Vice and Saul Bright. Lost our transport of parts for the new research center. Went missing on Aldecaldo turf. Our meaning whose? Meaning Biotechnicus. But I'm making some private in inquiries at the moment. Uh, we work on the same turf, but that doesn't mean we have to step on each other's toes. Not our problem. You're in the Badlands. And out here you stand to run into all sorts of gangs and threats. Maybe you should have chosen a quieter location for that new center. The nature of the research demands discretion. We need it done out of the way. As far out of the city as possible. If we were to hire someone to track down our cargo, how much would a job like that set us back? Well, considering the apparent value of the cargo, the price would be high. In Euro dollars, please. And with a deadline. Like I said, the price would be high, and not just in Euro dollars. We can get those with any contract out there, out here. So what's your ask? Reverse transpiration zero fights. But they're not ready for the market yet. We'll put them on the market. A prototype series. That is, unless you're in no hurry. All right. A small prototype batch. But I can't guarantee they'll grow. They're still in the testing phase. They haven't even been planted outside of lab conditions. And what sort of deadline can I count on for the recovery of our cargo? I'll start looking once those first buds bloom. Shouldn't be long after. Help it. Hmm. Seems like a con. I'll, we'll look after some of the buds bloom? It's like, what? You already claimed that there's no guarantee in the first place. I've got a trail to follow. Activate my Witcher senses. This is a speedrun strat. It's like dashing backwards as Alucard in Symphony of the Night. I know what I'm doing. I've seen all the vids. All right, let's see if we can keep this guy alive. Just to avoid the explosion. Oh, hello. Wow, 3% damage. Oh. What is that? What the fuck is that? Are you Bastion? Uh oh. Is this bad? Dude, t take damage when I shoot you.
Let's see if this helps out. Yep. Yep. Oh yeah, buddy. Like when it hits you in the face. This is a really funny looking weapon. What's going on here? Pew 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 pew. Dude, to die of bullets. He's I'm doing a headshot. And he's taking like 3% ow damage. Ow! He suddenly got way stronger. Didn't do that much damage at first, I think. Dang. I have not fought one of these guys for a while, so I don't really remember what the, tr what, like, the trick was. Sneak attack. Ow. Nope. Nope. Not that. Nope. Fuck. Ah. Uh. I tripped up and accidentally hit the tab. <laughs> and then I couldn't get back out fast enough. So I started awkwardly walking around when I was trying to gunfight. Whoops. I'll just, uh, be right here. I think last time we did this, I like fucking obliterated him. A stealth headshot does nothing to him. It's just kind of weird. You can't see me. Ow, shit. For a smart gun, it's not very smart. Seems pretty good at missing a lot of the time. Ah! Suddenly you can hit me. isn't it? <laughs> ah. Zero damage headshot. What the fuck does that mean? Ow. Oh. He ducked. Critical headshot, zero damage.
What the fuck? Critical headshots. What, what universe is that a valid number to give me? Please die. There you go. Not sure if I care if you lived, honestly. You made that a real struggle, didn't you? Oh, congratulations, you get to live. Shiv for the win and a raffin fever. This shit's pointless. We won't get anything out of him, and the stench of all that blood is making you want to puke. Well, let's see. Let's make some use of him while he's still breathing. We'll go for a ride. He'll help us with the gear out there. I heard the Aldecados can find water, even the deep reservoirs. Uh, like a living, like, like a living, breathing, dowsing rod, you know? I mean, that's what they say, but we could test it for real. So, we tie him in front of the car, and he can show us where to dig? Well, he'll be doing the digging, so he doesn't need pull any smart moves. Sounds like a plan. Grab the gonk and let's go. And like all of these things, the plan worked great, and no one was hurt. Who was grilling? Oh, probably you. <laughs> that was probably who was, who was grilling. What was that sound? He's fine. Nope, things are pretty fucked. You were almost right. Turns out it was a prisoner who went cyber-psycho and managed to escape. Coincidentally, it just happened to be one an Aldecado buddy of, of a prisoner I rescued from the same outfit. Managed to take him down gently. Well, that was unexpected. I'll relay this info to Dakota. Probably better if the family takes it from here. The quicker it gets back to familiar territory, the quicker he'll get back to normal. Saul was too valuable as a pawn, so it looks like they tried to beat as much useful intel out of this poor gonk and make Saul watch, hoping that he'd crack. Eventually they took him for one of their rides to the desert to separate them. And that's when things got out of hand. He probably mistook you for one of them. Good thing you're able to save him. Didn't even have to load this time. <laughs>